G'day guys, it's Billy here from lostreasure.com.au Well, um, this is some of the stuff I found yesterday around the old lake bed So, as you can see just over here, I've got some nice cast aluminum um, To the left of that, it's a bit of uh, stainless steel I think it is And just down here is some normal aluminum um, pots and pans, stuff like that And just down here guys, here's all the bits of copper and that I found on the lake bed and on the edge of the lake there's a nice um, heavy piece of uh, brass just there that's an old shower head and that pipe there is made out of brass as well this is um, the old horse strapping the old brass buckles and stuff like that so I'll take that apart and keep the buckles another nice couple just there uh, just over here fellas is some old brass or stainless steel um, hubcaps so I haven't checked them yet to see if they're brass or stainless steel but they're definitely non-metallic so let's hope they're brass just over here fellas is some of the old bottles that I found on that on the edge of the lake so I was really happy to find these ones and some really nice ones especially the old AG utility jars they're always a good seller on eBay I've actually got these listed, or not these ones, but some other ones listed on eBay at the moment with some bids. This big um, jar here to the to the right, that's an old um, oil jar, or an old oil bottle, missing the top, but these ones go for quite a lot of money on eBay. Uh, big collector's items, the old oil bottles, it's actually embossed. Some more jars here and bottles. This really nice one just here. Hopefully one day I'll be able to make that into a nice little uh, drinking glass or something like that. A couple of old poison bottles, the old Schweppes bottle there, a couple of Coca-Cola bottles, they're not worth that much. Here's another broken one, what I'll make into a glass hopefully one day. And just other bits and pieces, a couple of insulators, here's some McCain Co soft drink bottle. The poison bottle I found and just in here fellas is all that copper wire what I found on the lake bed so definitely quite a few kilos in there so really thick stuff too it's already stripped so this stuff's worth a bit of money really heavy stuff most of this um, wire here's like pretty cracked so it'll be easy to strip so basically just take that off and strip it be pretty easy an old aluminum chair Found that one. Now for the good stuff fellas, this is the good stuff I found. I actually found this the other day at the local rubbish dump with the last video I made but I forgot to put it on the video. So this is a great little uh, painted sign, that one. Unsure what this is, um, so someone might be able to help me out identify what this is. It's got MB engraved on it just down the bottom there. And just here's the other side. So I wouldn't have a clue what it is. Looks like some type of tool and for holding just something. Just here fellas. Found this at the local rubbish dump, a beautiful old radio. So what does it say there? It's a Philips all transistor. So it's a transistor radio. There's the, the dial there. So it's in nice condition, it's just a bit dusty, needs a bit of a clean up. Open that up and that's looks like it's pretty well all complete inside. So that'll sell on eBay for sure. And that's the model number, a Philips model 199. And this is a great find guys, it's an old um, Western radio telephone. This is actually the second one I found out the local rubbish dump. And for you guys um, in Australia who are, who are aware of Dick Smith, he used to actually work on these radios when he first started getting into electronics. And not too long ago I actually got an email from his um, secretary asking if um, they could buy they could buy one off me for Dick um, but I said there was a hundred bucks so they wanted it and they declined so a bloody multi-millionaire if not close to a billionaire and he's too tight to pay a hundred bucks for an old radio pretty disappointing uh, beautiful old retro um, box these are big sellers on eBay these sell for quite a bit of money this one here probably sell for about I don't know 20 or 30 bucks but inside there's all old sewing um, books and stuff so even those might be able to sell those individually so, yeah. So, 
So just tell you fellas, this is another old radio. I wouldn't normally worry about these, but the only reason I grabbed it is for these old, um, what are they called? Oh, I wouldn't normally worry about these guys, but I only grabbed it for really the old um, glass uh, valves. So I might be able to sell those on eBay. So I'll be able to just pull out and, yeah, do a uh, bit of research on the number, what's engraved in the glass, and find out what it matches to. I also found a um, couple of um, old Bakelite switches, so they're a good seller. Got quite a few of those at the moment. Just an old crappy bike seat. Might be to sell that on a, on eBay. Um, a nice old Revlon uh, makeup bag. So this is a good little find. It's got stuff in it as well. So it's an old Revlon bag. Don't know how old it is, but. Oh. So it's an old Revlon bag guys, it's got crap in it, what I'm just going to throw out, but still, might be to sell that on eBay. So, and also I found this old fox skull um, the other day too, out of my mate Steve's farm, so that was a nice little find, I'll have to chuck that on the bull ant's nest as well. And just down here fellas, obviously someone's doing a big clean out, and this is a really really good find, it's an old uh, switchboard, so HD XF. H, I think it is mate, you'll like this one. So this is a great little find. Uh, there's a thing just there, The who it's made by. I can't see but it'll come up on the video camera. And there's the old instrument panel. There. The old turning knob, another instrument gauge. So oh yeah, that's a nice find, and by definitely guys, this is definitely the find of the day, believe it or not. Someone actually threw out this beautiful, beautiful old pram, probably dating back from the 1940s, 1950s. So I reckon this pram will definitely sell for, you know, two or three hundred dollars on eBay. I don't know, might not sell for that, but you never know. So it looks dirty, but it's only just really dusty. So it's just covering a bit of surface dust and hopefully that should come up nice and clean. It's got a bit of surface rust on the handlebars, a bit of a crack there. But it's all complete guys, that's the main thing. It's all complete, beautiful old vintage kids or babies pram. So it just needs a good clean out. And also just to you fellas, before I um, sign off, this beautiful old um, ironing board. So it was pretty um, unusual to find an old wooden ironing board like this out of the rubbish dump. I've never seen one like this before, so obviously it's very, very old. Nice old sewing book there, might be to sell that on eBay. Uh, this hat here, it looks like to be a, a kid's scout hat. So it's a nice old interesting relic. Just down here guys is a big um, inner tube, this is um, actually in a little box so I'm pretty sure it's in uh, good condition so I could sell that on eBay as a, a tie tube, you know, to be towed behind a boat for kids during summer holidays and stuff like that. But yeah, as I say guys, definitely the find of the day would have to be this beautiful old pram. So if you're interested, uh, check out my eBay store and I'll be listing this one uh, tonight on eBay, so and heaps of other stuff I'm going to start listing. So feel free to look at my auctions and add to your watch list if you're interested. And yeah, have a great day, guys. All right, chat soon. Been See naughty, ya. haven't you? You've been naughty, Cindy. Naughty banjo. Oh guys, I've got some fucking bad. <laughs> oh guys, I've got some bad news. Remember that fox skull at the beginning of this video? Now, that's all what's left. A bloody, the lower jaw. Cindy just ate the bloody skull. So I'm not too happy, guys. And about bloody 10 minutes ago, they gave another one of my bloody sheep skulls. So, far out. Very disappointed, guys. Alright then. Chat soon, see ya.